Hey guys, just here to help you understand how to read tablature. Tablature is a visual representation of all four strings. Sometimes kids get really confused because those four strings look like maybe they could be four lines on a treble clef staff. But remember, the treble clef staff has five lines and four spaces. So don't get them confused. As you can see up top here, we have usually off to the very left the clef indicator. It'll either say tab or a big letter T, and that lets you know you are playing tablature. Notice also where the first string is. It's as if you were taking your instrument and putting it like this with your strings and you're like laying it down flat on the on the paper. That means that the number one string would be at the top of the fret of the um, tablature, and the number four would be at the bottom. All right. Remember that whenever we're looking at tablature, the number is always the fret that you're supposed to use on that string. All right, so at the top here, it has a three on the first fret. We know that's, um, that that's the musical um, pitch C. And so you'd be able to see that. There are ways of modifying tablature. Like right here, we have some bar lines and measures broken into that. That is not how tablature works. Those are not part of tablature. This is a way to give us kind of a bridge between tablature, which um, is good for showing us where to put our fingers and and um, musical notation that gives us much more information. Also, you can have a time signature on um, a tablature staff. Um, it's giving us the same information. The top number tells us how many beats are in each measure. The bottom number tells us what kind of note is equal to the beat. Now, you'll notice that they also have ways of um, indicating duration or kind of notes. Um, like I said, it's kind of a halfway measure, but if you see a number on a string with a stem, that means it's going to be equivalent to a quarter note. And so um, usually what they will do for uh, things like half notes is it will look like a, this is kind of a lame, but it looks a little bit like a lollipop where it's circular and it's got the stem still. Okay, if we were going to look at um, a, a note that meant that you would hold it for a whole note's worth of time, there would not be a stem, there'd just be a circle around it. So you will also see that some places will put um, things like rests in as well. Don't get confused. Make sure you're looking at it. You may want to go back now and make sure you're taking a look at that cheat sheet, maybe a little differently. You were maybe filled in stuff um, a little bit, but maybe not fully. Make sure you understand how that cheat sheet works, especially on the back where we have the neck of the um, instrument as well as the standard notation, and it's linked directly on the left-hand side with the tablature. All right, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.